In this video, I am going to show you a simple solution for low sexual desire. I use this quite often in sexual counseling of my patients and it has a remarkable effect. The secret ingredient for it to be successful is this. You will need an open-minded partner willing to work on the problem together with you. Hi, I'm Stefan Buntrock. I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. On Euro Channel, I share with you tips and tricks from my daily work to make your lives a little better. Please make my life a little better by subscribing to Euro Channel now. Hit Euro like and activate the bell to get notified for new educational content. Low sexual desire is a very common problem. Many believe that it affects only women, but this is not true. Also men suffer from low sex drive, but in the literature the vast majority of studies has focused on the female perspective. This is because men aren't supposed to have this problem. It's a cultural thing. Now, there are several reasons for male loss of libido. Generally, there comes a time in everyone's life when sexual desire drops to a lower level. But it is important to rule out any physical causes first, like late-onset hypogonadism, medication, diseases of any kind. The next thing is contextual disruptors of sexuality. Say, you have three jobs, five kids and a dog. You can hardly pay your mortgage and because of all of that, you only sleep for four hours a night. In other words, you are in survival mode. It goes without saying that in this situation, sex is the least thing on your mind. When all of this has been ruled out, it is time to talk about the sexual response cycle. The way we respond to certain stimuli may vary substantially between partners and they have to be aware of that. Knowing your personal mode of operation is a key element for sexual desire within the couple. There are several response models, but in order to make things a little easier, there are two main types, linear and circular. Men tend to be more on the linear side. They show the classic succession of excitement, plateau, orgasm, resolution. In other words, the man sees his partner get sexually excited and gets active. This is a little different for people who operate within the circular response model. They are more like anything goes, but if not, it's okay as well. So they need a certain trigger be it emotional intimacy, a specific situation, touch, words, and so on. Women typically are circular types. Within the couple, both partners not only have to be aware of the way they respond sexually, but also it is very important that they communicate to each other how they work sexually. Knowing the other one's sexual response cycle helps to overcome low sexual desire. This is a good starting point because now the couple is communicating about sex. Only talking about it is helpful to many and from here it is a small step to the next level which is sexual preference. But this will be the topic of another video. So here is your task for today. Start a conversation with your partner about your personal sexual response cycle. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.